365 days of the year, Mount Auburn Cemetery is a nature lover's paradise. Trees and shrubs flower throughout the year, yielding fruits, berries, nuts, seeds, and insects that offer a variety of foods to migrant and resident birds and to populations of animals. Winter is an ideal time to get familiar with the year-round resident birds of Mount Auburn. If you're a beginner birder, this time of year offers the opportunity to see and hear the common birds of the area without the distraction of migrants or foliage on the trees. During the winter months at Mount Auburn, you may spot one of over two dozen varieties of birds. On a given day, you might spy the elusive yellow-bellied sapsucker. And the adorable titmouse, woodpeckers, thrush, duck, and hawks all make the cemetery a mecca for experienced and novice birders from across New England. Winter at the cemetery is also a great time to be on the lookout for owls. Several species have been recorded at Mount Auburn. Perhaps the most familiar bird in North America, the American Robin, is the most abundant resident breeding bird in Mount Auburn and can be found in all 12 months of the year. Like the Robin, the Cardinal is a year-round resident of Massachusetts and of Mount Auburn Cemetery. Almost everyone is familiar with the Cardinal. A favorite of children, the Cedar Waxwing is six to seven inches long with a wingspan of nine to 12 inches and a crest of feathers on its head. Look for grayish brown on top with a yellow belly. Perhaps the most striking feature of the bird is the black mask outlined in white across its face. There are two species of nuthatches that can be found at Mount Auburn. The white-breasted nuthatch is one that actually can be found on every day of the year. And the red-breasted nuthatch, which is more of an eruptive species. Take a walk to Auburn Lake and try to find a wood duck. They like the overhanging branches of many of the trees around the pond to hide and to feed. If you see a bird take flight with an enormous wingspan, it might be the charismatic great blue heron, the largest of the North American herons. Great blues have long, graceful necks and dagger-like bills for stabbing at their prey in shallow water. They are most likely named for their grayish-blue appearance. Three varieties of owls can be present in the cemetery. Since owls are mostly nocturnal, they can be a bit more difficult to find. Eastern screech owls can either be gray or reddish-brown, and they are small owls, usually about 7 to 10 inches tall, with a wingspan of about 18 to 24 inches. The northern sawwet owl is a very small white-breasted owl with thick reddish-brown vertical streaks, a light-colored face, and yellow eyes. Of all the birds that have been seen at Mount Auburn, the great horned owl has by far attracted the most attention, not only by the birding community, but by general visitors as well. The great horned owl rests during the day in places such as the spruce trees in Consecration Dell. Another year-round resident of Mount Auburn is red-tailed hawks and have been seen as early as mid-January nest building in the cemetery. Resting red-tails prefer a tall tree with good aerial access to the site. In the winter, you may witness courtship behavior, such as high circling. Though nest construction can begin in winter, the actual nesting will occur later. If you're interested in seeing hawks, the cemetery is a great spot. Red-tailed hawks are distinguished by their long, broad wings and fanned red tails when in flight. Mount Auburn red tails are not shy and can be easily approached, often staying in place for a long period of time, watching a squirrel before swooping in for dinner. Cooper's hawk is also a fairly frequent visitor to Mount Auburn and can be present at almost every month of the year, though many of the reports are during the fall and winter months. Whether you're driving through the cemetery on a brisk winter day or enjoying a stroll during a midwinter's thaw, you are sure to see an abundance of bird and other wildlife at Mount Auburn Cemetery.